San Francisco is celebrating a major victory. They installed a toilet, took them about 20 years to do it, but that's good news for San Francisco. The Mercury News, very excited about this as well, says that BART reopens the bathroom shuttered 20 years ago. BART is the subway system. And so, my goodness, 20 years ago they had toilets and now they're reopening them, calling this a new era of rider relief and this is a wild story now we are going to make a lot of fun of this because these people are like shockingly excited that they were able to install modern plumbing in uh, a city so let's go through this all 10 underground bathrooms were closed after 9 11 and it's going to take them all the way up until 2026 to reopen them okay so in san francisco they used to have toilets 20 years ago in their subway system but not anymore for over 20 years, the restrooms at Bart's Powell Station in San Francisco remained shuttered. But that changed. They had a toilet paper cutting, first flush ceremony, and a frenzy of news photographers, photographers crammed into a single stall. Bart officials unveiled a fully remodeled bathroom. Wow, it was adorned with white tiles. And guess how many toilets? Two. Two stainless steel toilets to the relief of passengers who have been scrambling for decades for somewhere to go in one of the nation's, uh, the, the, the city's busiest stations. So the, uh, absolutely amazing. This is what BART looks like in San Francisco and they really have no toilets. Here's what these clowns were doing, celebrating the installation of a toilet. Take a look at this. These are actual news people with their camera gear and their uh, masks on taking photographs of a toilet. It's not a joke. This actually happened. This is the schedule. BART public restrooms are scheduled to reopen over a long period of time. Powell Street, you can see all of the red dots are still closed. In, in other parts of San Francisco, you've got some toilets, which is nice, but uh, we got a couple. Two are going to be reopened in February, and then the others are going to be closed. It's going to take several additional years up until 2026 to get all those red dots turned into, uh, I guess, orange dots and then eventually green dots. Mercury News says this week's reopening comes after a years long push from some BART board members to reopen bathrooms that were closed for security reasons. Oakland's 19th Street bathroom slated to reopen on February 25th. And it is also, folks, Four years behind schedule. Ugh, absolutely useless. Now, four years behind schedule to open a toilet that was installed, you know, I don't know, probably 30 years ago. Sounds like kind of ineffective leadership. And it is. This is what they actually did. This is San Francisco leadership. In San Francisco, during the ribbon cutting ceremony, okay? And if you think like this is just like a bunch of people having fun or screwing around, I don't think that's the case. We have some real people who are here. This is Rebecca Salzman. She is the BART board president, okay, like an actual bureaucrat. She's there. We have John McPartland, who is the BART director as well, right? You can see him sort of tucked away back there. He's making sure he's a part of this ceremony. We have Bob Powers. Bob Powers is the general manager, I think, of the city. And so you got to pull him out. Make sure he's there for this gigantic reopening of a toilet. We've got Janice Lee. Janice Lee is also a BART board member. Who, right, so these are like actual officials. These aren't people screwing around. Bevan Dufty, also a BART board member. Four years behind schedule there, excited about opening a toilet. And then Scott Weiner is another state senator. Okay, so the entire you know entourage is there. For a reopening of a toilet four years behind schedule in San Francisco, something that was ultimately originally installed 20 years ago. Well done, everybody. And they had to basically stop everything and assemble in order to cut a toilet roll ribbon cutting. All right, great. Continues on. Now, this is the reason for celebration. Okay, this is what it looks like. They've got a new stall here. Two all-gender stalls, very, very equitable here, with hand-washing sink located outside the bathroom. So you go in there, you do your business, you come out here, and then you um, wash your hands. So one sink and two toilets. They've got a full-time, you know, I guess security guard here. I guess that makes it less likely you're going to, you know, blow the place up or something. There are railings enclosing the toilets to ensure access for people with disabilities. Wow. And instead of rolled toilet paper, a metal box dispenses hand-sanitized squares of thin tissue. Wow, that's super progressive there. 
hand sanitized squares of thin tissue rather than toilet paper. Wow, very advanced society. The design is similar to modern airport restrooms. No entrance door separating the facility from the station to prevent users from locking themselves in. However, the wide entrance combined with the lack of an entrance door does give the thousands of people passing the restroom a direct line of sight into the stall where they can look at the user's legs, idiots. <laughs> so you could actually just watch everybody just doing their business right as they're walking down the, uh, the subway platform. So that's just great. Really amazing engineering there. And so here now we see uh, this guy, one of the BART members, is giving us some very good details about this uh, this toilet. Extremely excited about their accomplishments. And you can see he's masked up there. Uh, looks like a regular old plastic toilet. You know, it looks like a prison toilet, actually. You know, And so I guess that's what they've got uh, to celebrate. And if you think this is a joke, folks, this is what it looked like. This was the celebration in San Francisco. You got the clown guy over here in his outfit. Don't know what he's doing there. But all of those board members, including the state senator and the entire BART leadership team, BART leadership team, is there. Camera crews, they got a podium, they've got lighting, and they are just really, really excited about this. And uh, I, I mean, I get for San Francisco, maybe this is a something that's excellent, I guess. Uh, here is the news, also very excited. For more than 20 years, the bathrooms at 10 of BART's underground stations 20 have years. been closed. Today, that's starting to change. BART's wow, leadership let's see. is hopeful what this do we will got? improve the passenger experience. Wow. After a two-ply wow. ribbon tearing and ceremonious flush, BART opened a brand new bathroom at the Powell Street station, the first of what will be several new bathrooms at underground BART stations. It's something that the customers have demanded. I can't yeah. stress enough how this action today is symbolic of a new era at BART. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> don't have a place, place to go, so it's a humane uh, solution to something that's a problem. Probably yeah. Why I somebody urinated on the floor on car. That's yeah. a snippet from recent. Okay, so it's a new era for BART ridership. Four years behind, they don't even have a plan for the other bathrooms to be open until I think 2026. And so they're very excited about this. They got everybody together to high five each other for a new era of ridership because, you know, people want to use the toilet in uh, 2022 in a modern city, supposedly. Mercury News continues, says, reopening all of the other bathrooms is going to take at least until 2026 because, you, I mean, to be fair, there is a lot that goes into them. You know, you've got a toilet and a toilet paper roll that needs to, you know, be modified to sanitize squares, I guess. It costs 14 million bucks in order to do this. Although BART board has yet to allocate the funds and the system faces a looming fiscal cliff as ridership tanked during the pandemic. So folks, you're not getting any more toilets in San Francisco. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Bathrooms in another station are set to reopen later this year. And uh, 2026 will be the end date if they finish and stick to their timetable. I wouldn't hold your breath on that. BART board president Saltzman advocated for the reopening of the bathrooms for five years. Okay, five years. Life's work almost. That's like a career. Pushing against previous BART management and other board members who didn't want the toilets. And she said, man, this is a new era at BART. Well, improving her city. Now, you know, there are other countries around the world that are also sort of improving their infrastructure that are, you know, celebrating accomplishments and achievement. San Francisco, they've got a toilet, which has been around for a long time, installed where it was already installed 20 something years ago. Uh, well done. Pat themselves on the back. Around the world, we can see similar progress. In China, for example, they also have a rail system. This is what it looked like in 2008. And you can see uh, there was just basically one rail, it looked like. And I think that's over there in Beijing. And now in 2021, yeah, they built an entire rail system. So uh, about 13 years advance. And well, there you go. You've got a whole system. And this is what it looks like, right? I'm sure there are toilets on there. I'm sure there are uh, many stops that are sanitary and well confined where people can actually relieve themselves because they are uh, competent in terms of their productivity. But at least San Francisco is moving in the right direction. And sounds like it sounds like hopefully this stops people, you know, defecating all over the place and peeing all over the subway cars. Right. I mean, it should help with that. Right. Shouldn't it? Hopefully, this will truly help stop people from using the BART trains as their restrooms. Well, 
I don't know, but I will tell you that we're not just working on a great restroom, but we have added ambassadors. What we else? have a dozen ambassadors that are riding our system. We now have 14 crisis intervention specialists. I would be lying if I told you I thought it was going to disappear tomorrow. It's going to take some time. The bath. Yeah, it's not going to disappear tomorrow. It might take some time. Good news is, though, they have some new ambassadors and some crisis intervention specialists, so maybe they can clean up all the crap all over the subways and throughout the rest of the city. What do you think about BART in San Francisco? Are you as excited as they are to install technology that's been around for a long time that was already installed? Let me know down in the comments below. These people are clowns. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. Stay, uh, stay around with us. We have a live show that we do every weekday. And it's better when you join us. So hit that subscribe button. I'd love it if you left a like before we got out of here. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.